Hey, hey, good evening. Good evening, teacher. How are you? I'm doing good, and you? Yeah, I'm doing well, too. Great. Yeah, thank you. Is raining by your uh, your house? Yes, yes. Uh, oh, I'll be early in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. Start to, to rain. It started to rain here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now in this moment, it stopped. No, here it's raining. Still? Okay. Yeah, it's still raining. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. And let's see who else is here. Hey, today only uh, only you and Arturo, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Arthur. Yeah. Hey, Arthur. It's, maybe it's too early for everyone, huh? They're like, ah, oh, it's Thursday. It's the last day. We're going to... A few minutes <laughs> later, it's okay. <laughs> I think so. And Arthur, what did you do today? Well, today I was I was working in a lot of stuff about my job, and mm -hmm. and I think in in this stuff. Uh, my day is gone. <laughs> <laughs> Only doing some things and some tasks, and then poof. I just, I just feel like a few minutes, and and then all the day it's fast. It, it happens when you have many activities. It's really yeah. fast the day. Exactly. When you feel then. Your day is done and you say, oh my God, I finished. I didn't finish this. I have to do this. I have to do all of these things. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Vane, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Good. How a little you? tired. Uh -huh. I can imagine. I can imagine. Yes, because I finished my work around 8, 30 p.m. A long day, huh? Yes, because we are in the monthly close. I don't know if that's correct to say. Monthly yes. closing? Monthly closing, yeah. Yeah, when you are in the monthly closing, always there are so many activities to get done and so many activities to do, so. Yes. It's, it's necessary. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Does anybody have any questions about the platform or the activities that uh, you have done or any exercises there? Oh, teacher. That's okay. Okay. I don't know. Patricia or Olga, do you have any questions? No, teacher. Oh. No? No. Okay. All right. Okay. Great. The idea is we're going to be taking a look at uh, the situations that we have. Um, some of them were yesterday we were looking at some vocabulary. Um, we're going to start off by reviewing the vocabulary and making sure that it's okay for everyone. Um, here, as you can see, we have several words. Um, are there any of those words that you don't remember how to pronunciate or any of those words that you don't know what they mean? Dreadful. <clears throat> Let's see. Uh, what is it? Disgusting. Dreadful. Dreadful, right? Vanne? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. Dreadful. Dreadful is something, a synonym of what, Arthur? Dreadful is a synonym of? About, um, I think, a, a stressful? Not stressful, not exactly stressful. Romulo? Uh, is that awful? Yeah, it's awful. It's something very bad, something you don't like. But it's going to be more for something like a, a bad situation. That's like maybe someone died or there was an accident or the, the, 
the I don't know maybe in the in the job uh, the shipment or the container didn't come that's dreadful something terrible terrible yeah mm -hmm. terrible. are there any other words no weird weird is the pronunciation <laughs> is weird oh, weird weird, yeah. weird. Mm -hmm. yes Almost like the we, like I, you, he, she, it, and then we, erd, weird. And weird means something that is not usual. It's something not normal. So you can think of it as strange. The synonym would be strange. This is weird. Weird. Okay, any other words or those, the rest are okay? Peter. Yes? Uh, the old, old? Odd, odd. Old. No, no, o, a. Yeah. You ah. pronounce like an a, uh, odd, ah. odd. Ah. Mm -hmm. Is significant. The odd, the, the meaning is something that is strange. Mm -hmm. Is out of the ordinary. Okay. Not necessarily weird, but is not common. Weird. Weird. Mm -hmm. And outstanding? Outstanding is a synonym of wonderful. It means something very good. Like in your job, if they say, oh, that's outstanding, it's a synonym of excellent. That's very good. Any other words? Okay. Great. Then we have all of those words. I think those were the ones that we had and, uh, that we needed for our vocabulary. Um, here. Okay. Here we're looking at how do you using the vocabulary, how to use those adjectives to best describe it. For this one, you're going to do, uh, not in this moment, but just so that I explain, this is a listening. So when you get a chance, you listen and you choose according to what you hear. It's talking about books and movies, and then according to what they say in it, what is the opinion, okay? What do they think about it? And that's all. Now, we're gonna continue with here, okay? We're gonna be looking at relative clauses. Now, what's the idea of relative clauses, okay? Relative clauses are just two things that we use in order to join two sentences to give us a better idea. We're gonna watch a small video so that we can get a good idea of an introduction to it, okay? The names are for this is the relative clauses. Hi, we have previously studied relative clauses of time. Today we'll study relative clauses using relative pronouns, who, which, that. As you realize, these sentences contain two clauses, a main one and a relative one. For example, he is the actor who won two Academy Awards. Page 89, exercise nine, grammar focus. Okay. So what are we looking at here? Here we have the words who and that, or which and that. As you can see, the easy word is that, because that can be used for both the people or it can be used for things. So that's why that is very common, because people use it for both situations. Who only be used with people, 
which can only be used for things, but that can be used for both situations. Now, what do we mean that can be used for both is to give more information, okay? So he's the person who won two Oscars, okay? It's a movie, uh, which movie? Uh, it's the movie that stars Kate Winslet, or which stars Kate Winslet. This is to give, when you don't know, or when you want to give an explanation, that's what we use. So I say to, um, maybe to Andrea, I say, Andrea, let's go to the store. Which store? I don't remember the name. It's the store that, that, sells, uh, that sells TVs, it sells uh, refrigerators, it's, uh, it's a store that is painted yellow. What store am I talking about? Okay, think about it, guys. It's the store that sells TVs, refrigerators, it's, uh, that sells electronics, and that, that is painted yellow. Which store am I talking about? About uh, Curacao. Correct. Mm -hmm. La Curacao. And that's the idea of relative clauses. Relative clauses is to give us, or the listener, more specific information. The information is to identify who or what we are talking about. We can use that for both situations, but who only for people and which only for things. It's okay for, in, for this moment? It's okay. Okay, let's watch the rest of the video. Relative clauses. Use who or that for people. He's an actor. He won two Oscars. He's an actor who won two Oscars. He's an actor that won two Oscars. Use which or that for things. It's a movie. It stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie which stars Kate Winslet. It's a movie that stars Kate Winslet. We want you to know what relative clauses do. They join two sentences together and give information about something in the main clause. Relative clauses are joined by relative pronouns, who, which, that. Who is used to join clauses about people. Which is used to join clauses about things. That is used to join clauses about people and things. Hope this topic wasn't so complicated. Try with these following sentences. I will give you the first part of the sentence and you finish it using a relative pronoun. Ready? Okay, so according to what we saw in the video, which relative pronouns can we use to complete the sentences? The first one should be who. Good, because it's a person, exactly. And in the second one? Which. Which. Co which. Correct, which. And which. What, what can we use for both sentences? That. That. Cor that. That. Who specifically for people, which specifically for things, and that for both situations. Okay, so we say Brad Pitt is an actor who, and you complete with the information, who makes a lot of money. Brad Pitt is an actor who is married to Angelina Jolie. Okay, Gladiator is a movie which, uh, which starred, I don't remember his name. I can't remember the name of Which. Which won uh, an Oscar. Ah, which won an Oscar. Ah, Russell Crowe, which starred Russell Crowe. For the Crow. best act. Uh -huh. Gladiator is a movie. I say, just, I say George Clooney. George Clooney. Eh, so, so, it's the same, it's the same. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is why we use who or that. The name of them are called relative clauses. What is the function? 
the function is to join two sentences together. It's okay for that? It's okay. Okay. So remember, this knowledge check, the 3.7, we are not going to do because it's a listening. You need to do alone. You need to make sure that you do it in the platform. What we are going to do is 3.10. 3.10, we're going to use who, oops, sorry, we're going to use which or that, okay? So we're going to use who or that for people or which or that for things. So you're going to read and then you're going to put the two sentences together with your partners. Here is a sentence, here is a sentence. Which one are you going to use to complete it? Okay, how would you complete that sentence? Are there any questions what you're going to do with your partners? No? Okay. If there are no questions what you're going to do with your partner, then let's make the groups. Remember, you need to make the complete sentence, not only put the word who, which, or that. You need to write the two sentences in one sentence. All right, for this one, we're gonna make groups of three to work together. You can see my screen. Okay, yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, is one. We are going to write Eric. He's, he's um, a movie director. Di, di, director? Director. He's who? a movie director who Made film. Who made the film called? Hulk. Next, how you the international Who is Anne Lea? He's a movie director. He made the film Hulk. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. The next one. Yes, yes, it is an action movie. It is an action movie. Uh, which? 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 Which star stars? Stars John Deep. Johnny Deep. Okay. But I'm not sure if I write it down correct because I put it's a movie director who, who made, made the film. Oh, oh well, maybe the. the, the time. Okay. It was a fucking point. Okay. Well, okay, basically, I should. It's a movie director who made the film Hulk. Hulk. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think the first is who. He's a movie director who made the film Hulk. Uh, uh, okay. There's a movie director who Made the film Hulk. That's it? No, but this is incorrect. I think uh, we missing something. A Who period? Is... A period, okay. A period at the end? No? 
the thing uh, I try I try to to put a period in this. Okay. Yes, it's very good. Yes, yes you are right. Is with the period at finish of the two sentence are correct. He is a movie director who made the film for period. Thank you, sister. Okay, the number two, you try to have you hear of pirates of the Caribbean. Caribbean. Caribbean, thank you, teacher. Mm -hmm. Caribbean. It, yes, it is an action movie. It starred Johnny Depp, okay. For this case, is that use that or which um, is, that, is about we're talking about we are talking about a movie i think ah, yes yes uh, um, okay i tried i think is that or no okay i tried yes it is an actual movie uh, we should start now, we should start Johnny Deep. Now is, I think it has a start. Okay, I try to write. Yeah. Okay. Is that correct? Yeah. Wait, okay. is write down correct? Okay, I check. Uh, Give me a, a second to try to finish with the start. Just the difficult answer. <laughs> okay. Um, well, the third question says, what's Chicago? Chicago? You'll call about a girl. She becomes a celebrity. Okay. I don't know what is Chicago. <laughs> I, I think that there's a music that uh, obviously I don't know. It's Chicago is, is a, 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 a musical. Mm -hmm. I think the answer is it's a musical about a girl who becomes a celebrity. Let me try. Yes, it's, it's correct. I don't know. If... Mm -hmm. And the next one says, Did you enjoy John Grishman's latest novel? The program. Um, Did you enjoy John Grishman's latest novel? Uh, you, 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 you check the apostrophe it. I see. <laughs> it's a secret about a girl. <laughs> It's a musical about a girl. She becomes a celebrity. Um, and who celebrity. or who or, or that? Or that. That a celebrity. Yeah. That. Okay. Yeah. Okay, Blanca, do you think you have the, the answer for number three? Okay. Uh, what Chicago? It's a uh, It's pushing about girl because I sell it. I don't know. <laughs> okay. Read the state number three. A. What Chicago? B. Uh -huh. It's a musical about a girl. She becomes a celebrity. A celebrity. Okay. And we talking. We are talking about the musical or 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 the woman. Uh, 
The musical? Yes, yes, I think it's the music. As in, in this case, what is? Great book. Mm -hmm. Next. Patricia, you are going to take a picture. Okay. For, for your me. platform. Give me a couple minutes. <clears throat> well. Come a celebrity. Three teen periods. Try. No, it's no. wrong. It's a uh, wrong pronouncers. <sighs> Entonces ocupemos that. That. An answer. Tell me, please, guys. I, I, I think I think not. <laughs> I really don't know. Hey, what is sense the answer? Okay. Ya lo borro. Were there any questions? Anybody have an, anything confusing? No? Okay, great. So as we can see, we use them relative clauses. Uh, we are using them to make sure that we give more information. Many times it's specific information, we need it in order to be able to explain what's going on or who we are talking about or what we mean, okay? It's not the same, ah, it's a movie. Uh, it's a movie and then we need to give more information because if not, it's too general. It's a movie that stars or the, it's a movie which stars, you know, the actor or that is about the situation. That's the idea or that's the function of having these, uh, of these relative clauses. Okay, so one more time, just to review, we have three of them that we use. We have who, that, and which. Why do we use who? For person, people. That's, that's right, for a person or for people, very good. Why do we use that? For an object or a location, object. For objects or? For person or for things. That's right. That is for both of them. It's for the person or the things. And the which is only for? Things. Only. Things. That's right. Only for things. Okay. Great. All right. Now we're going to read a little bit together. I'm going to share the screen to make sure we can. everybody can see it. Okay, we should have the same one. Let's see if we can get, this is the only one I don't like 
I wish we could make the screen bigger. Let's try it this way. And maybe we can. Okay. Can everybody read? Can you see it or is it too small? It's okay. It's okay. Me. Oh, me? Me too. Me too. It's okay? Romano? Yes. It's okay? Yes. Yes. Okay, perfect. Yes. All right. Omi, you're going to read number one. Romulo, number two. Vane, number three. Okay. Um, let's see. Patricia, number four. Arturo, number five. And let's have Blanca, number six. Okay. Let's read together. Okay. <clears throat> Okay, the method of Potter. 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 Scan the article. Where was author Jake Rowing when she got the idea for Harry Potter? Number one. There was a time when no one knew the name Harry Potter. Now the adventure of this extraordinary student of at Howard's at Howard School of Witchcraft and with our tribe are read in over 45 languages, including Russian, Thai, and even ancient Greek. No one can explain the Harry Potter phenomenon not even J.K. Rowling, his creator. Okay, thank you very much. Um, are there any words that you don't know for anybody? Are there any words that are not clear? Fine for me. That's okay for me. Okay, all right. Okay. All right, part two. J.K. Rowling was born in England in 1965. From a young age, knew she wanted to be a, a, a writer. When she was six, she wrote her first story about the rabbit that gets sick. At the school, she used to make up stories to tell her friends. Thank you very much. In part two, are there any words you don't know? No. Okay. It's okay. All right, let's go to number three. After gra graduating from college, she worked as a secretary, but she didn't give up her dream. She spent her lunch hour. She spent her lunch hour writing stories, mainly for adult adults. Then, in 1990, on a train trip to London, she got the idea for the boy wizard. She says, she says he just appeared in her head. She soon created a whole cast of unique characters to help Harry battle the force of darkness. Thank you. What about for part three? Are there any words you don't know? Forces. Forces. Forces are like another way to say the groups. Or um, if you know Harry Potter, then you know is uh, Lord Voldemort is the force of darkness, is the strength. <laughs> This is forces, the strength. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? Okay, what about part five? Four. Oh, sorry, part four, thank you, thank you. Okay. She got working on the story while she was teaching English in Portugal, where she married, had her first child, and divorced 
a year later. When she returned to England, she brought back a suitcase of Harry Potter stories. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay. It's what the meaning of suitcase? Suitcase is the bags suitcase. that, you, that the people bag. take in the airport or in the trains. It's normally, yes. traditionally, it's like a rectangle. Like the one that Harry Potter uses. When he goes okay. to the, this is the suitcase. Suitcase. Mm -hmm. Okay. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other words? What is the meaning of um, she brought back? Ah, because she returned to England. She's, she's originally from England. So when she returns is she uh, took with her or she carried in her bags the stories of Harry Potter. Ah, uh, okay, okay, thank you. No. Okay, number five. My turn. Yep. After returning home, she was broke and living in a small cramped apartment. She continued writing and in 1995 finished the first book in the, in the series, Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Sor Stone. It was published in 1997 and became an unexpected bestseller. Good, any words for number five? How do you say sorcery, sorcery, sorcery? Sorcerer is like uh, the magician, the person that has the magic. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is so, the sorcerer. How do you say it? Sorcerers. Sorcerers. So the original word, the original word is sorcerer, but it has an apostrophe S. So we say sorcerers stone. Sorcerers. Stone. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Cramped apartment. Yeah. Cramped. Cramped means that everything is very, is very close together. There is not a is no space. Okay. Okay. Okay, perfect. And the last part, number six. Okay. Rowling's life has changed dramatically. She has become internationally famous and now earns around 40 mil millions a year. She remarried, had a second child, and currently lives in Scotland. Okay, thank you, Blanca. Okay. okay, good. Are there any words you don't know? Okay, so it's clear all of the, the six parts of the magic of Potter. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Great. Now, because of this one, hang on, let me see. We can eliminate this part. Okay. So now that we have the information from here, with our partners, we're going to choose and we're going to answer the six questions about the reading. Okay. Okay. Now, what are we going to choose? Here we have the options. Here, if we remember, we have six paragraphs, one, two, three, four, five, and six. What you are doing is choosing in which paragraph is this information, okay? So it's not about yes or no or true or false. In this one, you're going to choose the number of the paragraph where that sentence would go. This sentence is not in the story. So for example, this sentence is not in the story, but according to the way that it is structured, 
which sentence or which paragraph do you think that sentence goes in? Okay, is that okay for everybody? Yes. It's okay. Okay. It's okay. Okay. So we're going to make our groups, and the idea is that choose the correct paragraph for each one. Fine, Joe, how are you? I'm fine, I'm really fine. Thank you for asking. Great. Okay. Uh, if you want, I can share the screen. Yeah, please. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, love. The first okay. one. May I read it? She okay. hated going, she hated going to school, but always love to read. I uh, think... The second, I think. Mm, or no? The second one. Yes, it's the second one. The second, yeah? The number two. If you want... He couldn't even afford to eat. I think it's the part of the paragraph uh, uh, when she says uh, when when the story is five five okay I try I I look five and the four is said her fine and fortune she's been up to up yet to keep the her private life. I think it's when talk about the million of dollars and the last yeah. and the last. Yeah. <laughs> to are tell you, her friends. Are you agree about the, the paragraph two? Two. Okay. I'll try. Um, Summit? Yes, of course. Is that correct? Okay, number two. When asked about it, this popularity, she said, I really wrote it for myself. Um, I really wrote it for myself. Wrote it. Mm -hmm. Get rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah, basically when she get rich, well, got rich, she can, well, she had paying fortune. And she didn't have a pain or paper with her, so she had to memorize it. Let me see. The number five is paragraph three. Yeah, I yeah, I agree. Okay. It was filed with ten bears of the <laughs> Just just a moment. I lost the exercise. Um the number three is the paragraph number five. Five? Yeah, there were times when she couldn't even afford to eat because pen or paper with her, so she had to memorize it. Uh, Only first and four. Do you think it's the number four? I think maybe in in the number first. I don't know. Let's try the others is quiet. 
I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The negative, the book. But the first is the, is I think is uh, start all the, the thing to write another. I think how many books are in Harry Potter? I think six or seven. Three. Uh, no, no. Uh, next. Uh, two, uh, I don't understand. Uh-huh. Uh, ah. uh, three, I think. Okay, were there any questions? No, maybe read again, okay. make sure that it's clear <laughs> in which paragraph. Now we finished. Okay. It's clear. Okay, okay. I know some groups, they were still trying to, they, they complete, but it wasn't correct. And they think, huh? Maybe it's a different <laughs> paragraph. Mm -hmm. It was a little hard, that exercise. That's good. That's good that you, you were able to complete it. <laughs> okay, perfect. Now, I know that we are, really, we are finishing up uh, part three or lesson three. What's important is that because um, you have two exams, you have one when we finish lesson three, and then you have another exam at the end when we finish all of it. The exams are cumulative. That means it's not for one lesson. It's all of the lessons before. It's going to be lesson one, two, and three. Today, I'm going to share with you to make sure that it's... When, when yes. is the exam? When? This weekend. So, this weekend? Yes. So, for example, you finish, or not you, we, we finished together 3.11, The Magic of Harry Potter. Okay. Okay. So... The exam is individual; is not an, a class activity. But I'm going ah, to yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to okay. explain the the exam so that you understand the structure. In the okay. first part, you only click next for uh, after we finish this exercise. You just click next, and then it automatically it gives you the exam. Okay. okay. Now the exam may be uh, tomorrow or Saturday or Sunday when you have time is a good moment to do the exam so that you can go little by little. If you want, you can do one part on Friday, one part on Saturday, one part on Sunday, and then one part on Monday, and then you finish. We can see here we have many sections. We have A, B, C, D, E. This means we have five sections. In the first section is listening. You listen to two conversations. And for each conversation, you answer the questions, okay? So, is f for part one is four questions, and part two are four more. That means eight questions in total. You listen to the conversations, okay? And you answer the first four for part one. Then you listen to part two, okay? Then you listen to another conversation, and answer the four questions for part two. Is that okay for the listening? Yes, it's okay. Okay, good. The second part is letter or section B is rewriting sentences. In rewriting sentences, it means the sentences, we need to change them, okay? Here, we're going to put the sentence in the passive. Now, what is the passive is when we focus on the object or we focus on the thing, not focus on the person that did the activity, but we change the roles, okay? For that, you're going to do in the first four, okay? Here, you can see they give you examples. Here is the example, here is the instruction. That's why it's important to read. 
if you are confused, you read and then you can identify the example and what you need to do, how to change it. That's for the first part. Here in part two is the same idea. We write the sentences, but here we use who, that, or which, which is today's class. It's different than here. Here it's only passive, but here we use the relative pronouns, the who, that, or which. Okay. okay. Good. In part three, it's completing sentences. What is completing sentences? Is you read and you select which sentence, which, sorry, which word is correct to complete. Some of them are not spelled correctly. Some of them, the problem is that the, the tense is incorrect. Maybe they have present and past or past perfect. So you have to choose the correct one. In section two is about the past and the past continuous. What is the difference? Okay. And then you choose the one that is the correct one to complete the sentence. If the action is finished, simple past. If the action was not finished, past continuous. Okay. And then we have here, we have a part three also. In part three, you have to put this word in the correct form, okay? The correct form is the idea with ing or ed, okay? Remember, we said that ed is for describing emotions. ing is for describing the things. It's okay, part three, the completing sentences? It's okay, yes. teacher. Okay. Yes, it is. Okay, good, good. Part four. Part four is only selecting the correct word. It says circling the words, okay? So that means that here you're going to read and choose which word is the correct one. And that's all you have to do. Which one is the correct to complete, okay? That's for the, and it's only one part. We don't have several parts, only one. And the last part is like today's activity. You read, you make sure you understand, and then you circle the correct answer. Okay? So okay. the answer, the information is in the reading. You don't have to invent. It's only in the information in the reading. When you finish part E, you click next, and you are ready for the class on Monday. On Monday, we're going to begin with section four. So if you are not complete, or if there is something missing, for example, maybe you are in section two, maybe you are in section one, but we should be completing all of the sections. That way it's not difficult later. Okay, on Monday, we begin section four, and then we only have two sections, section four and five. So we should be complete one, two and three, and the exam this weekend, the midterm test. Okay. Were there any questions or comments or anything that's not clear? Maybe from another lesson, because remember the exam is cumulative. So that means you have all of the lessons, lesson one, lesson two, and lesson three in the evaluation. Teacher, I am, um... I already have a, a problem with uh, section 2.9, the exercise uh, that I, I didn't, I didn't in the class. Uh, just the first answer, I think I, I am a mistake um, to describe uh, the answer. I don't know if you can help me. The other one I, I got right. But it's 2.9, exercise 2.9? Yeah. Okay, let's take a look. What do you, let me share with the class and let, we can see in case there's, there. Okay, his question is in the platform, 2.9, question number hey, one. Sorry, 2.10. Sorry, okay, 2.10. There we go for child prodigies, sorry. 
and then here okay. we got to 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 uh, answer in the short form in the first one i don't have the the, the the best answer because i think it was the most wonderful or perfect violence but, but it's, it's not hmm. what do other musicians this how do other musicians describe her i think they you only to, say yes no you have to put a comma between the two sentences mm -hmm. i don't know let me try let me see what he says because we have the most and let's see if it's correct or incorrect the most wonderful mm -hmm. wonderful perfect violinist and let's check let me see hmm what you have I? a comma in the most. Oh, thank you. Oh. Thank you. You see, sometimes even even if you have the answer correct, if you have something technically wrong, yeah. you always need to review and check for the little details. And that's it. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much for helping out. That's right. Okay. Okay. So this weekend try to complete the exam in the midterm if you don't have a lot of time go little by little do section by section and then complete all of them on monday we begin part four okay okay, okay. all right have a good weekend uh, thank, thank you, you. Bye, teacher. goodbye bye, bye. Bye, teacher. Bye. Bye. Bye.